All right, welcome to today's webinar. I'd like to uh, welcome you to uh, the topic of today, which is cocktails and case studies. Uh, our theme this entire series has been around marketing research and strategy. I'm Lori Hybe, CEO and founder of Keystone Click and your facilitator for today's conversation. Uh, we've got Aaron Jordan, who is the account coordinator at Keystone Click as well. And our guest is uh, Dr. Michelle Andorfer, who is the, let me find the title exactly. Um, you are the, well, the director at A Succeed. Is that the right way to say that? Okay. Um, before we get into the fun nitty gritty stuff, let's talk about the cocktails part. So Michelle, your, your cocktail choice was? A margarita. All my right. favorite <laughs> <laughs> so cheers happy thursday yeah. let's happy uh let's thursday <laughs> wrap up the day on a positive note and fun fact today's my birthday so i'm really excited to, to be having a oh, an early birthday. cocktail on my birthday so thank you <laughs> nice nice all right oh we gotta thank you thank you jennifer um so we've got a couple of questions that we're gonna dive into if you do have any questions for um either aaron myself or michelle feel free to throw them in the chat or the q a and we'll get to those at the end of the the conversation here but uh, michelle why don't you first telling us a little bit about eSucceed? sure well thank you for having me this is awesome um eSucceed is a virtual uh, k-12 school um, we are going into our third year of operation. Um, our first year, we, we were 912. And then last, um, and then the year after due to COVID, we had a lot of community um, requests to go K-12. So we were K-12 last year, and then now we're K-12 this year as well. Um, E-Succeed was created um, by a group of about 10 superintendents in rural Wisconsin uh, that came together and really wanted to provide um, opportunities for students in small districts. And so that's really how the whole virtual concept came to, came to be. Um, and what makes us unique is we, our mission and our vision, we really focus on uh, customized learning for our students. So students can take either more traditional classes or they can uh, create projects through our project-based learning strand. Um, each student creates their um, own individual learning plan. Um, which includes kind of, you know, their interests and um, their, their goals for the year. And we kind of use that throughout the year to, um, you know, guide their learning. Um, uh, students attend what we call advisory. Advisory are um, small groups where it's a teacher to 12 to 15 students. Um, they meet once to twice a week. And it's really just about building connections. Because when you're in a virtual environment, we know we have to intentionally, you know, try to build those connections and those relationships. And so um, during advisory, you know, we teach kids, how do you learn in a virtual environment? How do you create your own schedule? How do you stay on task? Um, how do you stay motivated? You know, things like that. And then we also have our own curriculum called Environments of Success. And that is where we teach students um, behaviors and mindsets on, you know, how to be successful, you know, how to stay, you know, just more of a positive mindset, you know, and, and the actions and taking action toward their goals, so. That's well, great. yeah, um, I guess we're going to kick things off now. Um, Michelle, if you could just tell us a little bit about the challenge that you uh, were facing with your marketing and, and why you had come to us initially here at Keystone Click. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the challenge is, you know, we're a new school and we're a, we're a bunch of educators and we know all about, you know, putting a school board together and we know all about creating curriculum and instruction. Um, but when it comes to uh, determining marketing strategies, we really don't have that expertise. And um, so the challenge re really was we, we didn't know how to market effectively. We created a, a, you know, a website that we thought was just okay. Um, we were in some newspaper articles, you know, just to kind of create awareness. Uh, we did some radio, but we still, even with all of those things, we had no idea if they were even being effective, if they were even making a difference, you know? So the, I guess our biggest challenge was just not really knowing, you know, how to be, um, you know, purposeful in our marketing. So um, that's great. And, and why did you decide to move forward with Keystone Click? Um, I think because you know, we knew that because we did not have that expertise, we needed a partner that did. 
And um, our board president who uh, does market research was aware of Keystone Click. So she was kind of our connection. She felt it would be a good match, you know, based upon uh, Keystone taking the time to really um, do that research to really understand, you know, what our school was all about um, and to really make the decisions based upon data rather than just on, you know, hoping that things would work out. Yeah, speaking of data um, and research, <laughs> was there anything that you found really fascinating or just interesting in some of the research that we had collected and presented to you? Yeah, well, you know, honestly, just about everything was pretty interesting and fascinating because <laughs> it was all it was all new to us, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was nice when I could bring on, you know, Katie, who's part of our team, and you know, she does a lot of our tech stuff, and you know, having just another person there to listen. But I guess I was kind of amazed at how much research was collected, you know. I mean, and just the level of depth that um, of research that can be done, and things that can be identified, you know. I mean, you know, you know, just different schools that are out there and, you know, who's really looking and, you know, where interest is coming from. I mean, all of that I thought was, was, was just really fascinating and extremely helpful. Yeah, that's right. We love it. We love getting down and dirty into the data. And, and I think one of our favorite parts and Erin can probably speak to this on her own too, but presenting the information that we find to, to you and just seeing your re reaction to that is always one of my favorite parts of what we do. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, um, Michelle, can you talk to us a little bit about the goals that you had with your marketing initiatives? I know we're really big on pushing for SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. So what, what goals did you yeah. give us? Yeah, so um, I think, you know, we really had two things, I think, that we focused on. And the second one, I think I didn't really understand initially, but I think I grew to understand it just through our conversations. But the first one was just brand awareness, you know, just um, we're new, you know, we're mm -hmm. new, we're different, we're innovative, you know, um, you know, you know, how do we how do we tell people that we exist? So really, that brand awareness, I know, was something we talked about a lot. Um, and then the second one was really identifying and targeting the students that would really um, fit in a virtual environment would really want to do that. You know, I think one of the things we learned last year through COVID, you know, is we ended up getting a lot of students that um, weren't necessarily coming to us because they wanted a virtual school. They were coming, you know, just because of the, the situation, you know, with the pandemic. Um, but I guess one of the things I've learned through, you know, our conversations is that, you know, what is your target, targeted market? you know, and, you know, who are those students? And we know that, you know, just like a brick and mortar school isn't um, a perfect fit for every student, neither is a virtual school, you know? Yeah. And so we, we know that, and we just want to be able to provide the best education for students that do come to us and make sure that that's a good fit. So I think the two goals were, you know, the brand awareness and then really identifying that target market. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and then knowing those goals, how has, um, kind of the implementation of the marketing strategy we presented impacted your organization? Well, I, I think, again, I think that's twofold. I think the first thing is, um, you, know, you know, I have a core administrative team that I work with, and it really gave us a general awareness of, of marketing overall, you know, things that we, di we didn't know. And um, like I mentioned, we didn't really understand, I think, initially until we partnered with you, the importance of um, looking for that target audience, you know, and realizing that it's, it's, it's good to do that rather than just a broad sweep, you know. Um, but I think, you know, it gave us that awareness. And then the second thing is we have seen a lot more inquiries, you know, on our website. We have not only do we see people looking, but we have people clicking the button, just wanting more information. And that's really what we wanted. You know, we wanted people to be aware. We wanted people to gather more information. And then, you know, once they get that information, then they can make their decision. You know, then they can make their choice. But at least it's bringing people that awareness. And so the impact, um, you know, right before we, we got on, I was connecting with our administrative assistants. And they're just like, there's somebody clicking on the site all the time. And, you know, and so they're, they're very busy right now. Which <laughs> That's is great. A good thing, Yay, you know? It's working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's working. So it's been great. Yeah. 
That's fantastic. Um, do you have any other yeah. comments on your experience working with Keystone Click? Well, you know, I think um, one of the things that we have really appreciated was that um, we, I've always felt very up to date. We, you know, we worked with another company a while back, you know, or with other organizations. And just the fact that we're always being informed, you know, on what's going on, we're given the data, but then in addition to giving the data, we're, we're kind of given that interpretation of the data, mm -hmm. because again, you know, I'm not a marketing expert, you know, and so, you know, we rely on you as our partner to, you know, look at that data and kind of interpret it for us and make recommendations. And, you know, just last week, I know I'd reached out to Steve and said, um, hey, can you kind of give me an update because I have a board meeting coming up and, you know, very quickly he was able to send me, you know, some different things and it was great and I'm going through the slides looking at it and I'm kind of thinking that I know what it means. And then I emailed him back. I said, can you give me a couple sentences? <laughs> <laughs> and so he, he came back and with some sentences and I said, I, you know, it kind of confirmed what I was thinking, but I just really needed that validated, you know, because I said, I just want to make sure that I'm interpreting it correctly. So it has been a great partnership. It has, you know, brought, um, you know, a lot of um, awareness to us. I mean, I think we have grown as an organization, not only numbers wise, but just in understanding, you know, mm -hmm. of marketing. And that's really because, um, you know, you know, you guys have been really good about explaining that to us. So thank you. Well, you're welcome. And thank you for the kind words. Any questions for us? I do. Because <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so I, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, we talked a lot about research and I've always been big into research as well, but initially when we first met, you set up a time, you know, like, like a week or so, or a couple of weeks, you know, to do that research. Mm -hmm. So just on, just on my own curiosity, can you explain how you do the research, you know, especially with a school and what you look for and why that's important? Sure. You know, happy, why is that research part so important? Ha happy to share that. Yeah. Great, great question. Um, there's definitely an, a lot of data points that are available, not just online, just everywhere, but we're looking at first party data and third party data. So some of it is just kind of looking at some, some other people's research related to what's happening in your industry. Um, we use a num we have a, a number of pieces of software that um, aggregate data from multiple sources where we can look at uh, like keywords and, and really understand how people are searching and the intent behind their search. Um, and when we're looking at that data, because it, it's just, here's a bunch of words and a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Great, what do I do with this? Uh, there are specific components that we're looking at, and, and intent is a component that says, you know, maybe someone types in virtual school, but is that because they have questions related to how, now that it's COVID, you know, what, what do I do as a parent? Or is it because they're looking for a school? Or, you know, it's just really understanding what is the reason behind the search that they have? Um, so some of that is assumption, but really understanding the other search phrases related to that really can help tell that customer journey um, because more times than not, I'm sure you've experienced this yourself. You type in one thing, you're like, that's not exactly what I was looking for. So you refine the search to get closer to what it is you're searching for. So actually those longer phrases, which are more um, the long tail keywords is, is the way we refer to that that's going to be closer to that final intent as opposed to just virtual school or, you know, whatever that shorter phrase is. So then we're looking for two specific things. I look at search volume, um, meaning is it typed in, you know, 500 times a month? Is it typed in one once a month, you know, because obviously we want a higher search volume. We're also looking at the level of competition. So when I type this in and, you know, Google does a great job of saying, oh, there's 10 million results that showed up for this, <laughs> or, or is there 500,000 results that showed up for this? So um, the, the level of competition and the search volume and kind of playing with those numbers is really gonna help give us some direction from a, a keyword perspective. The other side of research that's really important, and you spoke to this a little bit, is really understanding your target customer. Because um, I always like to relate it to fishing. You know, if um, this past summer, I went salmon fishing in Lake Michigan for the first time. Great experience. But in order to get salmon, we had to get on a boat and go out about 10 miles on the lake because there was a certain depth, a certain location to find those fish. You know, I can't just stand on a pier 
and catch the certain fish that I want. So understanding the position and where your, your fish, your ideal customer hanging out online is gonna make it really easy for you to, to catch them, to attract them, to put the right message, the right phrase in front of them that's gonna make them want to learn more. So those are kind of the two big components that we dive into. There's a number of other things that we do around your competition, but really we're looking at competition to identify um, what their weaknesses are. So we can figure mm -hmm. out this, our research says these are the things you have to do. Oh, by the way, there's this big gap in your competition. That's where we're gonna go first and win that space. Okay. Cool. That's how my brain works at least. <laughs> Erin, do you want to add to that at all? I like the. Yeah, um, I think speaking of competition research, I think one of the other things we look at is to see if there's any overlap in the way that they speak to their audience, and really does their is their audience the same people that we're trying to look at, and and again that comparison and looking, you know, where they're strong, but also the opportunities for you to speak to your audience maybe a little bit more directly or really position something of yours um, in the way that you are a different school that you provide a more individualized learning plan, for example. Um, that's some of the main insights that come out of that keyword research that then helps us um, build out our strategy, which is kind of the point, you know, you all of the research comes together for us in a way that we can use that data to recommend the next best step for you from a strategy perspective. Um, so that's where that's where I'd add in just a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fantastic. Any other questions for us? That's a fun question. Um, anyone that's uh, on have a question, feel free to throw it in the chat or in the Q and A. Um, yeah, Michelle, if you have another question, feel free to throw it at us. Uh, not that I can think of. I mean, that was kind of my big one is just the research because <laughs> again, it was very fascinating for me and, you know, and honestly, it wasn't until I understood what you did that I, that I saw the importance of it. Sure. You know, I mean, I kind of was just like, shouldn't we just be throwing things out there? <laughs> like, no, probably not. <laughs> That's why I like the fishing analogy. People understand that. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that is a great analogy. Thank Perfect. you. Yeah. All right. Well, um, it looks like we don't have much for questions from our attendees. Uh, you can feel free to, to reach out to us if you do have questions. Michelle, if anyone has questions for you, is there a way that they can connect with you or get in touch with you? Sure. Um, they can go to our website, which is um, e6c.org, um, and all of our contact information is right on there. We have our your emails, our phone numbers, everything is listed right on there. That's fantastic. Okay, thank you so much for taking yeah. the time to to share your 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 favorite cocktail and and a little bit of the experience <laughs> that you've had working with us. We we appreciate you and really enjoy working with you, Michelle. Oh, thank you. Likewise. All right. I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their day here. Uh, all future webinars, just go to keystoneclick.com forward slash webinars and reach out if you have any questions and we can help you with anything.